So, like, some people, when they go into darkness, they become ghosts that can travel through the world portal, and sometimes <laughs> they don't. So stupid. What are the rules? Dustin, and this is D2E, and you're you, or whatever the fuck Andrew says. Welcome back, we're in fucking hell of Bastion. Ain't that right, Andrew? That's right. I'm Andrew. The real one. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know what it was about the last episode, but... I felt like the life was sucked out of me. I, I don't know what it is. Yeah, you. I in think our it's, interim of collecting puppies. I think and it's Hollow, Hollow Bastion. Bastion. Hollow Bastion is soul sucking. It. I think that's what it is. It's just like it's destroyed my everything. I like how these two blondes like didn't want to associate with the outcast princesses. <laughs> I I guess I don't the know. dresses of not up to stuff. You know how to code? Yeah. Oh, I think you get something for this. Yay! Uh huh? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Alright, so, yeah, you gotta go through the Grand Hall. That's this way. Another thing that was dumb about this uh, guidebook is because we're using the original guidebook and not the Final Mix version. Right. But, well, it's just weird that Final Mix is like a weird remix of the game where 90-some yeah. percent of the content is the same, yeah. but certain item locations and drops, they did change. Okay, you're going to have to fight some bitch enemies in here. All right, but you said there are puppies. Yes, there are puppies. All right, that's good to know. All right. Yes, sir. So, once you clear out the enemies in here... You'll let me know where the pups are? Yeah, they're... <gasps> Accessories! Nice. Does that, like, teleport into the exact same spot he was? Yeah, he did. Stop <laughs> being invincible for a second oh, so yeah. I can hit you! We triggered a little cutscene where Beast and Bell reunited, hugged for a second, and then Beast left again. Yeah. Um, and Bell gave me the Ruby Rose, or whatever it's called. Divine Rose, that's it. You may want to heal. Remember yeah, when I said bitch enemies? Yeah, they, they, they uh, do some hurt. The invisible bastards. They're invisible enemies? Yeah. Uh. So, these guys... Ow! Yeah, you're right. <laughs> You can still hit them, it's just they're really tough. There we go. Alright. Yeah, just deal with the ones you can see. And just that was my plan. Jumping and dodging and dipping and such. <laughs> dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. <laughs> dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Um, looks like the uh, Disney boys took care of them. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> yep. Man, I put you through a gauntlet. I think you get Oblivion in here, too. Oblivion? Yeah, the Keyblade. Oh. Oh. You get, like, hella Keyblades in At this last, like, <laughs> couple chunks of the game, yeah. Interesting. Because you get one in Wonderland for clearing the last couple items out of that. Yeah, okay, Dark Matter. There should be a Keyblade or a chest on the opposite ledge, too. Alright. <laughs> it looks like I just touched him. Yeah, Arrow does damage. Oh, that's right. Levels. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, once we get <laughs> Arrow, go, all bets are off. I think that's what you get for turning in all the puppies. Alright, let me uh slightly cheer you cheer up with the uh, yeah. Andrew Dad story. Alright. My dad was telling me he's upset about uh, squirrels. Yeah. Because they eat all the bird seed. And he likes birds, but he doesn't like squirrels. So that's he doesn't want to feed the squirrels. 
And he says he might want a garden someday, but he doesn't. I mean, come on, he's, not gonna do that. Come he's lying to you. He's lying. And most people are when they say that, but. Whoa! <laughs> Round body, you had so much to live for! Uh, that was fun. So, anyway, he's like, I yeah. needed a way I could, like, get rid of the squirrels, but, like, not hurt them too much, is the way he phrased it. Um. Are you down here, fat boy? There you are. That's there what people we go. in the house say when we record. Yeah. Are you down here, fat boy? <laughs> um, we recorded in the basement. Fucking invisible enemies. I yeah, those dudes do, do not like... remember that. Yeah, I think that was a final mix thing. Ah, that's why I don't remember it. <laughs> that's a. Damn it! Would you stop targeting it? Clearly, I'm jumping for the wizard! I think they're- I think they are the, uh, Neo Shadows you fight later, but they're invisible versions of them. Fucking shit. There we go. They just do that crazy, like, slide move that is just insanely damaging. I'm, like, running across the map trying to get to that ass. Man, you are not kidding about this just being a bunch of bitch fights in a row. Yeah. That does a ton of damage. Thanks. Is there, like, a particular spell I should use on them? I mean, I don't know. Combo Master, that sounds neat. He keeps falling down the map. <laughs> We're all the way down here. Alright, got him. Ah, I thought he was the other. They are so fast! Yeah. Might want to heal. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. They have a good amount of HP to boot. Got him! Energy stone. Alright. Good lord. Lure combo attacks, even if attacks do not land. What? That's pretty good. How does that make sense? It means you can keep, like, doing a combo strike as if you had already hit the enemy. Uh, so that way your combos won't get interrupted when you miss. That sounds pretty good. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you good, Goof? He looks good. Yeah, Goof's good. Goof good. Goof good. Good Goof. Good Goof. All right, so I think there is one or two uh, more chests in this room. Sure. So he's talking about the squirrels, yeah. and he's like, I, I saw this thing, and it won't hurt them much, uh -huh. which is a goal of mine. And I'm like, all right, so what is it? And he goes, you can look it up, but I need to know how much money it is. Yeah. And he wanted a squirrel catapult. <laughs> <laughs> two squirrels eat the food and get launched over your fence. So we watched a couple of YouTube videos, and he goes, you think that's a safe way to do it? <laughs> oh, okay. I thought that was better. It does not possess colossal power. Like, It's slightly less... It's got a way bigger reach than Divine Rose does. Sure. But it, the description says colossal. I, that's why I thought it was better. I guess it's not. Yeah. I mean, Ultimate Weapon's still the number one, but... Yeah, and I think that chest has the puppies in it to your left there. Uh, I did not see Up on the left, yeah, right oh, there. Okay. The glowy thing. I see the glowy thing. Uh, I do not. Puppies! Puppy power! Yes! We are puppy done. We are done. Alright. It's probably when we unlock the next area, I'd say we'll circle back and yeah. do all Pongo and Purita's bullshit. Alright. 
Get ready to fight a boss. Say what now? Um, I recommend getting up onto its back and then beating the crap out of its horn. Okay. This is another one of them final mix bosses where I like the recolor better. Actually, yeah. I'm with you. Like, he used to be just purple. Don't fall off, Sora. We're, we're banging damage. Alright. May want to heal. Oh, man. Oh. I'm <laughs> knocked out. He's very quiet. Yeah. He's kind of a chill big doggy. He's not moving much. There aren't many attacks going on. Yeah. I think that is like a big homing attack. It looks like. Whoa. Ow, ow. Yeah. You know what? Like, you can't... Like, he's not crazy strong, but he is, you know, strong enough that if you're not careful, he could get... Yeah. <laughs> His attack. Walking. He's a, he's a big giant boy. <laughs> well, Sora liked your joke. <laughs> yeah! This looks crazy with the leaf petal or rose petals. You are using pretty much the right Keyblade for this fight. Oh, yeah. The one that does the most damage. Well, that <laughs> and... I'm sorry. I'm just being a jerk. I know you're struggling a little bit for this episode, and I should be, uh, ass. Uh... <laughs> Is this gonna growl? Uh... Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this! Woohoo! There we go. You have mega hearts. Yeah, I think that increases your AP. Sweet. I, if I recall now, correctly. Let's go and seal that big keyhole. Sora? You did it. Thanks, Axel. <laughs> there he is. What are you guys doing here? No, it's not. <laughs> it used to... <laughs> used to be so, Like, this looks like... Yeah, I was like, like, what's the peaceful, happy version of this castle? Um, well, you do see it in Kingdom Hearts 2. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. They, they come back and they I fix it up. I remember you had to be here, but is it still confusing to get around? Um, it's not as bad. Okay. They put it stairs? They, like, the castle part is a little less confusing, but there is a town part. Oh, I remember outside. town now. Yeah, yeah. Radiant Garden. You hear, like, a peaceful remix of this song. I think it's partially this song that, like, was just destroying my brain throughout the last episode. It's just that forever. Alright. We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. No matter where we are, our hearts will bring us together. Oh my uh, god! I couldn't forget you, even if I wanted to. Uh, What's that supposed to mean? The writing in this game. Sora, good luck. Okay. Till the end, I will be with you. We yeah, so will we go leave so we can come back in here. Our dreams come true. All the times that we have been through, you will always be my best friend. <sighs> Pokemon to be a master. I know. I know. My first CD I ever owned. <laughs> I think this explains a lot of my not knowing a lot of modern music. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to think of what the first CD I ever owned. It may have been the soundtrack to Shrek. <laughs> I don't think so. Hallelujah. I think it was one of the Now CDs. 
That's probably Thank like an so uninteresting one. Alright. Heart of the darkness. Heart, darkness, darkness, light. Heart, friendship, darkness. Oh. <laughs> Fucking stop! Did they not give Snow White any lines? No. <laughs> oh, there you go. There, there we go. It's like, girls, remember we rehearsed this speech. Yep. Okay. Now, you're going to want to go back to the library. Yeah? Yep. Because then you can get Kiraga from Whoa! Anime. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it says that we've been playing for, uh, like, 28 hours. It feels at least double that. Yeah, it's been a while. And it's considering the amount of grinding you've done off-camera, especially. Well, true, but... I just mean, like, it feels like we've been playing for 56 hours. Yeah. So. Th this game is, is fun, but it drags toward the end. Yeah. It really does. So she should be hanging around the, the lower level of the library. Valley staring at that bookcase. There she is. What up, beautiful? Read what? Answers report. Yep. Yep. Oh my god, did they, like, not plan that out right? No, no. It, the ones you read, like, fill, like that was to fill in some of the gaps. Oh, okay. Alright, I'll talk to her one more time. There you go. Awesome. Heal. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It is. Alright. All right, Dustin, I think uh, you yeah. suggested doing this, <laughs> yes. and uh, I think it's time. Uh, yeah, so we have a lot of the uh, Anson report, so let's go over that. Let's see what he reported on. Um, we have Anson reports. We have all of them. Well, it doesn't all... show here, that, but I guess because they're new. Right. I actually know there's like an 11th and 12th. Oh, really? You get, I think you get some for the optional bosses, but oh, this is all we really care. Much of my life has been dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. That knowledge has guarded this world well. Not a soul doubts that. I'm blessed with the people's... Oh, sorry, with my people's smiles and oh respect. But though I am called a sage, there are things <laughs> I do not understand. I believe darkness sleeps in every heart, no matter how pure. Given the chance... The smallest drop can spread and swallow the hot. I have witnessed it many times. Darkness. Darkness of the heart. How is it born? How does it come to affect us so? As a ruler of this world, I must find the answers. I must find them before this world is lost to those taken by darkness. So, it seems like he was searching for a solution that was, at the time, a non-problem. Alright. It is my duty to expose what this darkness really is. Oh, you're going to say I it. shall conduct the following experiments. <laughs> Extract the darkness from a person's heart. Cultivate the darkness in a pure heart. Yeah, Both he's... press and amplify the darkness within. Yeah, he's going, he's going <laughs> full Frankenstein at this point. The experiments, the test subjects, hearts to collapse, including those of the most stalwart. How fragile our hearts are! <laughs> My treatments produced no signs of recovery. I could find those who had completely lost their hearts beneath the castle. Sometime later, I don't know. I lose track of these <laughs> things in my official document. I, a week. A week later, I <laughs> went below and was greeted by the strangest sight. Creatures that seem born of darkness. What are they? Are they truly set near beans? Could they be the shadows of those who lost their hearts in my experiments? So you're just murdering people at this point. <laughs> Ansem, I, I don't think you get to be in charge anymore. The shadows that crawl beneath the council, castle. Are they <laughs> the people who lost their hearts or incarnations of darkness? Or something entirely beyond imagination? space. 
<laughs> All my knowledge has provided no answer. Space, space. One thing I am sure of is that it, they are entirely devoid of emotion. I tried to show him my favorite shows, no reaction. Yeah. Perhaps further study will unlock they the mysteries of the They just looked at their phones the, the whole time. Fortunately, there is no shortage of test samples. <laughs> Space. <laughs> They're multiplying <laughs> underground even as I write this report. They still need a name. Those who lack hearts. Hearts? They don't have a heart. They're without heart. Heart without. Yes. I will call them heartless. Yay. Okay. Just, just a recap. So th this 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 is the like origin point of the story, and it's so fucking dumb. <laughs> the heartless appear in groups and are multiplying rapidly. I pride of them both living and non-living samples to dead feed. bodies. He's <laughs> been bringing dead bodies. <laughs> they responded only to the living. <laughs> And believe me, it was hard to get volunteers. <laughs> after they the, like, seemed the... to multiply after absorbing something from the living creatures. The prey vanishes without a trace. Okay. I have had to hire so much more staff here around like, the castle. Where does he get these people from? <laughs> Who are these people? I believe the Heartless are taking hearts. They are born from those who have lost their hearts and thrive on hearts seized from others. The hearts taken by the heartless become heartless themselves, so they're no longer heartless. Though I lack proof, I am confident in this hypothesis. So, dude, like this, the dumb, the the way that this is set up is like, okay, so are heartless things that exist that don't have hearts, or are they hearts that have been turned into like a dark version of a heart? I think they're both. <laughs> yeah, that's the, like... I must study their behavioral what? principles. Though they lack emotions, they do just seem to have some intelligence. How to communicate with men. It just occurred to me. Could they be the darkness in people's hearts? Gasp. To study heartless behavior, I picked one out for observation. It wiggled its little antenna. It was really cute. It was so fucking cute. Oh, Dear and, diary. <laughs> and as if it sensing a the target headed deep into the castle. Space. In the deepest part of the castle, its antennae began vibrating as if it were searching for something. Suddenly, a strange door appeared. I'd never known of its existence. It had a large keyhole, but didn't seem to be locked. So I opened this door. Lots of spaces. Yeah. What I saw on the other side mystified me. Space. What was that powerful mass of energy? That night I observed a great meteor shower in the sky. Could it be related to the door that I had opened? Oh my god. <laughs> the dust an uh, analysis. So here's the thing about Ansem Report, and I haven't I don't know if you remember this. Some of these reports, but not all of them, were written by Ansem Seeker of Darkness, the villain of this game, and some of them were written by Ansem the Wise of Kingdom Hearts 2. <laughs> Two people, both with the name Ansem, because this isn't confusing enough. So... Oh, all this time, I should have like, realized that Ansem backwards is Misnam. <sighs> Huh. Mesna. It, Mesna. I think it's supposed to be Mensa, but like scrambled, <laughs> like he's really smart. I think that's it. Uh, it. I wouldn't put it past this game. A massive core of energy lay beneath the... Oh, I'm sorry, lay beyond the door <laughs> sought by the Heartless. It may well be the ultimate goal of all Heartless. But what is that energy? I have devised a hypothesis... Based on the observations of the Heartless. The Heartless feed on other hearts, and they yearn for the energy core. That thing beyond the door must be a heart, too. The heart of this world. Gosh. But there is no proof. But, sorry, I screwed that up. Having felt that immense energy, I am certain that... Man, was a weird capitalization period there. <laughs> was the heart of the world. The Heartless are trying to take... 
haunts not only from all living creatures, but from the world itself. But what do they need to do with the heart of the world? My question is what do they why do with does any heart? My question is why does Ansem suddenly have an English accent? <laughs> like you, we've we've heard him. You know what he sounds like in the game. He's had several lines of dialogue. But that could be Ansem the Wise. Also, you gotta understand, like, okay, sometimes people speak in one accent, but they write in a different accent. You know, having read your handwriting, <laughs> I believe that. <sighs> I didn't even really think I was doing a British accent either, <laughs> which is the best part. It was just like a weird, like, it was because I was like being this. excited about my writing. <laughs> it just sort of became foreign somehow. I am now studying material from oh the meteors God. that rained down that fateful night. What a find. That material is... <laughs> that's really hard to read like this. <laughs> that material is foreign to our world. It is elastic to touch. And when two pieces are combined, they bond easily. <laughs> the henchman from Venture Bros. <laughs> None of the records I scoured even mentioned such a substance. Was it introduced to this world when I opened that door? <laughs> wow. I wonder how many other such materials drift through the atmosphere of this tiny world. I wish I could soar off and find out. Could there be enchanted worlds up there? My curiosity ceases to grow. <laughs> it's so hard. But I should stop doing that voice. Speaking please, of such please. unrealistic dreams, for now there is no way to venture outside this world. My people and I are all but prisoners of this tiny place. Yeah. The Dustin report. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're missing number eight. Okay. Oh, no! Oh, my goodness. Simply astonishing! Oh, my God. <laughs> Today I had a guest from another world. He is a king vessels built from the material that composed the meteors. He calls the pieces gummy blocks because he's weird. <laughs> it seems that by opening that door like, has opened a path to inter-world travel. We talked for countless hours. It's so amazing. But one story <laughs> in particular caught my interest. That of a key called the Keyblade. The Keyblade is said to hold phenomenal power and one legend says its wielder saves the world! while another says that he wrought chaos and ruin upon it. I must know what this Keyblade is. A key that opens doors. It must be connected to the door that I had opened. Yeah. Can you imagine, like, Mickey Mouse talking to you for hours about this, about anything? Oh. Uh, <laughs> like, just, just imagine, like, having an intense political discussion. <laughs> Like, like, okay. Oh, you need to open up your mind. <laughs> like, no, I like imagine, <laughs> imagine this. Like, just imagine like the conversation that he's uh, having with Ansem the Wise. It's like Carl Sagan's Cosmos through, mix, <laughs> through Mickey Mouse. Yeah. All right. Go if ahead. you wish to invent an apple pie from scratch, you must first create the universe. <laughs> you know, just like that kind of crap. Travel with your spaceship of the mind! You know, that's like <laughs> terrible, terrible Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Fucking. Just as people have hearts, so do worlds. The same can be said of the stars in the night sky. And deep within each world lies a door to its hearts. The heartless desire those hearts born out of the darkness of people's hearts. Hearts, hearts, hearts. They seek a return to a greater heart. Why? Yes, that's it. The heartless come from people's hearts, as does the darkness. Space, 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 <laughs> space. Is the core of the world's heart the world of the heartless? I will pursue the answer there and become all-knowing. My path is set. I shall seek out the wielder of the Keyblade and the princesses. I forgot a word there. Yeah. My body is too frail for such a journey, but I must do this. I will cast it off and plunge into the depths of the darkness. <laughs> so, like, some people, when they go into darkness, they become ghosts that can travel through the world portal, and sometimes <laughs> they don't. Shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> so stupid. Fucking. <laughs> what are the rules? I, and, like. It's so. Wow. Um, go to. What do you want, buddy? Well, we can't, we've got to do the Hades Cup if we want to get yeah, the, the big ending. that's true. And the last thing is I'm pretty sure you can un you get some more stuff in the... Um... Hall of Bastion? No, not Hall of Bastion. What do you want? Oh, we got to go back to Traverse Town first and foremost. Okay. Get all the gifts from the puppies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think we got the next level of Arrow to get and a couple other little things. You know what? Uh, while we're doing some of this, I do want to make this a uh, reoccurring segment for us. Yeah. So, I don't know why I went here as opposed to anywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> so, so the the Anson report. If you if you guys no, we are still brain... didn't steal the thing. What thing? The heart. The keel. And Hollow Bastion. Yeah. We just did that. Oh, we did. Man, my brain. <laughs> stopped working from reading all that you're right you're right you're right we were gonna do it we got stopped for a second and then we went to go do it again yeah yeah okay Whew. i'll check the shop as well but no a uh, reoccurring segment um movie chat about from movie night oh yeah yeah yeah. and our movie night we uh well the last one we didn't do it's batman 89 yeah it's still super fun oh yeah that was i love jack nicholson's joker so much yeah michael keaton's batman I kind of like it less as I get older, I guess, but it's okay. Yeah. Movie still held up. As oh, wow. Yeah. Dog noises. <laughs> Look at that run. Uh, huh? <coughs> it feels like it's like pushing the PS2 to the brink. <laughs> <laughs> We've decided to take one of these with you. And then it's just the dog hanging from the keyblade. Yeah. Every time you swing it, you just hear a bark. Nice. Yes! Wow! What does that even mean? That means you can build anything. What? In the gummy ship, you can build anything. That's so crazy. I mean, I get getting the puppies is hard, but man, it's a hell of a reward. Not that the gummy ship matters at this point. Yeah, at this point it's not a huge deal. You want to build something? I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might just for the, the last flight we gotta do. Maybe, but it's not super necessary. Our, our ship's decked out enough as it is. Okay. So anyway, uh, the other movie we watched um, this week. Yes. It's a mad, 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 mad world. Yes. From 1963. I liked it. Yeah, it was fun. It... <laughs> I've, I've heard it referenced a bunch of times. Uh, James Rolfe of uh, Cinema Massacre says it's his favorite movie. Yeah. Uh, we, we didn't watch the longest cut out there. Yeah. We watched the second longest cut out there. Yeah, there's several cuts of the movie. Um, we watched the one that was two and a half hours long. Yeah. And uh, even had an intermission. Yeah. Did the one thing that like I've never seen a movie do before. It starts out with a black screen and music for about two and a half minutes. Yeah. There's, there's <laughs> nothing. <laughs> that was so weird. Well, the movie itself, for spite being, you know, like 60 years old. Yeah. Held up. It was pretty fun. Yeah, it was definitely fun to watch. Okay. Yeah, we need some other stuff if we're going to get any of that, but not a big deal. Yeah. Alright. Ooh. Yeah. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, those are pretty strong. Um, you get Fratega Chain, which is just a huge boost to defense. Yeah. Um, it's not that expensive. What do you think? Um, scroll back up. I think there was the Obsidian Ring is new. Is it? Yep. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought that was new, but it's not. Okay. Um, I think there are also some new weapons at the shop. 
to check out. I think I think Goofy gets a much better shield. Okay, I was thinking about getting one of these. So that's gonna leave us with only three thousand left. Yeah. All right. Just I don't know which decide which one of... would be the best. Fire, I'm guessing. Hades cup, fire. Yeah, if we're gonna do the Hades cup, yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Got to watch us make important decisions yeah. <laughs> while recording. Yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do the Hades Cup next because that's the last thing when we get because we want everybody to see the uh, the secret ending cutscene thing. Yeah. Oh, we can buy some more calcums. Yeah. All right. Yeah, adamant shield is really good. All right, so we can get that. Yeah. What should we sell? Um, These fucking tents and camping sets we never use? Um, yeah. And sell. Keep the cottages, though. All ten of them? Oh, uh, keep some cottages. I'm just saying don't sell them all out because they might be useful. Okay. Alright. Adamant about the shield. Yeah. Equip. Goofsters. Really? I thought it was way better. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Why is the shield you can only get at the end of the game not as good as Herc's shield that you get halfway through the game? That's pretty sweet. Yeah. What was the other one? Thun Thunder. Uh... Thun. Uh... No, fire. Fire, fire gun. That's it. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the other one. It's just too good for Sora. There you go. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy about it. Yeah, we got enough items. Yeah, yeah sure. we're good. We're good. <laughs> we're both like, yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. All right, let's go do the Hades Cup. You want to do that off air? Yeah. Is it worth? Might as well. Fighting. All right, cool. I will not pull a Dustin. Huh? That's what I will not pull a Dustin and click down warp drive. Although, people didn't see that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like when we were just exploring for items and such. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, how dare you bring up stuff that uh, didn't happen while we were recording. <laughs> and there's just some embarrassing thing I might have done while not paying attention. <laughs> the only difference is, is you did it multiple times, but yes. Yeah, it's good. Good comeback. All right, buddy. I am going to save you. We're going to stop the recording. Uh -huh. We're going to take a break. Yep. Uh, granted, this will be weeks in the future when they see it, as opposed to, uh, for us, we'll have a nice little rest before yep. we do a way out. Yep. All right. Works for us. See you later. Be.